Hi, friends. Today we are going to talk about pancreatic enzymes. Four following topics will be covered. What is that? When to take? How much to take? And for how long I suppose to take pancreatic enzymes? So this is pancreatic enzymes I have a great experience with. One of the, my subscribers sent me a message and told me, please, we need to know what are the good pancreatic enzymes that we can take. What you need to do, telling me, so please open a associate, Amazon associate account and um, post the link below and we would be happy to pay you one or two percent from the sale. And if you need any help to set up account, just let me know. I will help. Thank you, my dear, for your gentle push. So I set Amazon account. And now here we go. So if you buy this brand and I post the link below, you, uh, I will uh, receive um, some financial re reimbursement. Now, let's go. The pancreatic enzymes that um, are made with real pancreatic enzymes. If you subscribe to my channel, you will see uh, the video on pancreatic insufficiency, where I talk that pancreas will produce three main enzymes, protease, amylase and lipase so and that's what i want so here you have those three exactly i like that they're here in high doses in two capsules you will get high concentration of protease amylase and lipase unfortunately for people who are vegetarian this brand is made this real made out of real pancreatic gland i think it's made um, with uh, pork, or maybe it's a uh, beef pancreatic enzyme, so you cannot use it. I like that those enzymes uh, in form of capsules means that when the that you take the the p the capsule, it's not going to be open in your stomach. It will go through the stomach into your small intestine and will get open there. That's where exactly pancreatic enzymes belong. Number two when to take with your meal. So you put the first bite of the food into your mouth and you take the pancreatic enzymes. Three, how much to take? With the small meal, take one pill. With the large meal, take two pills. And if you're having only snack, do not take it. Now, this question is, for how long I supposed to take pancreatic enzymes? Often people asking me, and they are, sometimes write to me and they say, hey, listen, you cannot take them for, for a long period of time. Because remember, if you take, for example, corticosteroids, right from adrenal gland, so then your adrenal gland will stop working because you're taking external corticosteroids and it will become lazy and maybe the same will happen if you take a pancreatic enzymes. Uh, the answer is no. All research shown that if you take pancreatic enzymes, so you, you put them here into your mouth and it will go through the digestive tract, it will arrive here into small intestine, get absorbed and get incorporated into pancreatic gland and will be used and reused, okay? So the pancreatic gland is not going to become lazy, unlike um um, adrenal gland. So when you take corticosteroids, remember you have to take either pulsating dose, so three days and break, three days and break, and three, or you take a high dose and then you decrease. Pancreatic enzymes you can take for quite a while or until symptoms subside. So to be precise, to answer this question, if you take once or twice pancreatic enzymes and you feel that something does not work quite right, your acid reflex gets worse, or something allergic reaction came, uh, happened. So just discontinue that and you are done, right? But if you took it a couple of times and you feel you're getting a little bit better, so that means that they are working. So you need them. The, usually I used to tell my patients, take them about for one month or as a supplement will last. The second choice, what you can do is take them till symptoms subside. What the symptoms of pancreatic insufficiency? Bloating. So you will have less bloating. Your acid reflex may get better. You will have less constipated. constipated. You will uh, 
uh, if person has steatorrhea, steatorrhea is a fancy word for um, fatty stool, right? Because pancreas, one of the enzymes that produced by pancreas called lipase, it's responsible for breaking down the fat. If fat broken down, then it's get absorbed. If fat is not broken down by pancreatic enzymes, it's not absorbed. So a person will have a fatty stool. So you will have, you will have less steatorrhea. No undigested particles in the stool, less flatulence. That's very, that's very important. That's going to be a very important symptom. And also less abdominal pain. Abdominal pain in this case may come from the flatulence. Remember, when that um, the, the digestive tract is a is a pipe, right? And when there is a lot of gas there, so it will start to extend, and you just can't extend so much until you know patient get a pain. And um, so less gas, less pain. Okay, that's it, guys, for today. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, and if you want me to be your um, health coach, please let me know. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.